All right, you guys, everyone's been asking for another alligator cleaning video, and here we go. We've got a nice 10 foot, five inch alligator that we killed last night. We're gonna completely break it down. We're gonna skin it, and then we're gonna remove all the meat, not just some of it, we're gonna remove it all. Then we're gonna flesh out the hide, and we're gonna prepare the head so he can have a nice head mount. Great thing about alligators is that there is zero waste. Let's get to cleaning. Now, if you can imagine, these alligators live in mud. They eat rotten stuff, so you've got to clean them. You've got to have a lot of bleach in your soap. If you don't, you're just asking for infection. So now we'll rinse them off. Get them all nice and clean. It's gonna make us an alligator balloon. All we do is Make a little incision right there. Take your air, stick it in. Blow them up. Get some air in there. Oh, no, I broke my thing. All right, so most of you all don't know, I break everything. So I just went and bought this specifically for this video. Luckily, I bought a backup. That's that. I think that works even better. I know some of y'all right now are hoping that this alligator explodes on me. You might think that the air separates the skin from the meat. It doesn't. What it does do is it makes him nice and rigid and allows me to work on him. So we're gonna start right here in the center of his head and we're gonna come right back to there. Come around this scoot and this is called marking your gator out. We're gonna mark him just like that. You gotta use a good sharp knife. As many of you know, I use silver stag, silver stag knives. They're made out of D2 steel. They're very sharp and I think they're indestructible. Now we're gonna come right back to the center of the fan. Right there. Perfect. When I skin a gator, I like to have the tip of my knife right against the tip of my finger and I have very good feel that away. You cannot just rip the hide off like a deer or a hog. You literally have to cut every square inch of it. Be very careful. Here's another note. If, if you're working on your gator and you go sharpen your knife real good, come back, be very careful because if you sharpen your knife, chances are you're gonna add more pressure and cut a hole in your hide. That's not what you're looking for. This is a very, very, very easy spot to, to nick your hide. Okay, so this is probably the most complicated part of the whole skinning process. What a lot of guys will do is they'll just cut the tip of the fan right off. But I'm gonna try to split the fan. Now mind you, I have not split a fan in a couple of years, but I'll give it a shot. See how you split it there? right down to the bitter end. All right. Okay. All right, get your 
finger in here and then you'll just make sure now hold that there good so when you cut that tailbone out make sure that you don't cut this hide because that CITES tag has to stay intact with the hide. Otherwise, it's illegal. It's an untagged gator. So we've got one full side of him done. Now we'll turn him around and do the other side. On an alligator, every single muscle is edible. I mean, gator meat is gator meat. Just like every other animal, back straps come right on down here. So Scott, what do you think? I think it's pretty awesome. I'm pretty, it's addicting. Is it's it? Very addicting, yes. So now, we're going to start cutting off this front shoulder. And that is an alligator front shoulder that we're going to roast. That's, again, dark meat. <clears throat> Look at that. Big old hind leg. Now, this alligator tail, in a sense, is four loins. You have your top loin on both sides and your bottom loin on both sides. The bottom loin is where your jelly roll or your tenderloin is. I'll show you how we get to it. top one beautiful piece of white meat there's the jelly roll right there look at this Scott you'll see what the most beautiful piece of meat on an alligator is right there that's it A lot of people call that the jelly roll or the tenderloin. Best piece of meat on an alligator. That's called your bottom wrap. Look at that big beautiful filet of alligator tail. Here is what many would consider is the second best piece of meat on an alligator. That's his jaw meat. This jaw muscle out. Good. White meat.
All right, so now we've got all the major muscles taken off. Now we're gonna start coming around and cutting off all these secondary muscles which make absolutely great meat. Beautiful, doesn't even have any fat in it. We can grind it up, make it awesome gator burgers. Look at that. That's a full grown rack of alligator ribs. Trim those up, season them with some Everglades. They're going on a smoker. All right, you guys, so that's it. Got about 65 pounds of meat. This carcass has been completely removed of all the good meat. This is the interior of the alligator, something very few people have ever seen. You can see the liver. That's where the head would be food comes down, the stomach sits right in here. I'm telling you, never cut the stomach. We took out the ribs, all the white and dark meat took off all four legs. Now, only thing left to do, we'll flesh out the hide. How you do it is you take a pipe with sharp edges and you scrape very hard, constantly. Scrape, 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 get all the meat off, and then you salt it heavily, fold it up, roll it up and keep it in a cold place. This head, we're gonna be sending out to White Bone Creation. Ryan Olson is a great guy, he's also a great YouTuber, and when it comes to turning heads into unbelievable works of art, there's nobody better. So Ryan, this head is being shipped to you guys, and if any of you guys wanna check out his YouTube channel, it's White Bone Creations. So, and then we've got ribs, legs, all the gator tail, the jaws, I mean all the usable meat off of this alligator has been harvested. The head will be turned into a mount. We're gonna have, these are the scoots. That's the horn back. And for any of you wondering, these scoots are the hardest part of an alligator. So when that gator is sunning himself because they're cold blooded, they've gotta use the sun to regulate their temperature. These scoots, no matter where the sun is, will actually be grabbing sunlight. They're hard so they retain heat. So when the gator goes into cold water, the blood flows along this side of them and gathers heat to warm his whole body. So that's basically like hot rocks for an alligator. Then the hide, we will salt and send to Sebring Custom Tannery and have it tanned. You guys, you asked for another alligator cleaning video. I hope you liked it. What was your take on the entire hunt? It was amazing. I'll tell you what, it was very impressive, very addictive, and I think anybody out there that wants to go should contact these two people <laughs> right here. This is nothing. They need to really go. This is, they're, they're, uh, they're not giving me a discount for this. This is, uh, I'm telling you, the real deal. So we just like to have fun, and we sure do appreciate y'all. He, he was a subscriber, contacted yes. us, this book to hunt, and uh, here we are. So life is good. We're going to pack up that angle cooler, and, uh, you get to go see your beautiful wife. That's right, and book a hunt. Oh. <laughs> subscribe. And subscribe. <laughs>